Hey folks, wanted to do a quick comparison review video for you of two different diaper bag backpacks. Both of these bags are made by 12 Little, which is a company that I've been familiar with for about just a month or two or so. And uh, I really enjoy their products. I have obviously these two backpacks that they make, as well as their everyday tote. So I'll do a more in-depth review on the everyday tote as well. I have more in-depth reviews on each of these bags on my YouTube channel, so feel free to please check those out as well. I'll leave links to those videos in the description box below. But this is simply going to be a compare video, a comparison video between these two particular models and just pointing out the differences between the two and what I like and maybe not like so much about each one and what I kind of wish each bag had. Um, so just to get into it really quickly, you can see obviously the, this is the Unisex Courage backpack by 12 Little and this is the Companion backpack by 12 Little. You can see obviously the Courage backpack is quite a bit taller than the Companion, maybe at least by an inch or two. Um, Width-wise, I believe the Companion backpack is about an inch wider than the Courage, so the Courage is definitely more narrow and tall and the companion is, is definitely more wide and a tad shorter. But uh, both very nice dimensions in terms of being able to hold all of the things that you need for you and your little ones. Uh, so just nice different choices that they have in styles for uh, just dimensions based on whatever you need. So this one's taller, this one's shorter, wider, and a little bit more narrow. So if that's how you wanna think about it, hopefully that's helpful for you. You can see obviously that the materials are slightly different. They're both made of like a nylon, but this is more of a kind of crinkle nylon. And this, uh, the companion backpack is more of a quilted coated nylon. So this, um, this is also overall very padded and kind of cushy. This one's just kind of a thin nylon material, uh, but both very nice both easy to maintain, easy to wipe clean. And <laughs> as you can see, I am d very drawn to gray. So I have different variations of the color gray in each of these bags. Uh, the Courage backpack is a unisex backpack. So it's definitely geared more towards dads as well as moms. Uh, the Companion is eh, probably more of a mom bag, um, but uh, both are still very stylish and neutral as well, so um, I think dads may not even mind so much um, carrying the companion around as well because it's it's pretty neutral. It's it doesn't scream girl or anything, so it's uh, it both bags are definitely pretty gender neutral. So you can also see that the Courage backpack has more of a plain trim to it. Uh, this is gray and then it just has a kind of black trim throughout. The companion backpack has some nice contrasting. Uh, trim that uh, contrasts the dark color of the the bag. So um, that's just kind of a difference in the trim here. You can see that the 12 little logo is pretty much the same on each bag. Here is a close up of the Courage. And then here is a close up of the Companion. It's pretty much the same shape and same like font and print there and both uh, just are printed in gold. The, the two bags actually weigh very similar weights. They're both incredibly lightweight. They weigh practically nothing. They're both just barely over a pound in weight. I think the companion backpack seems to be a little bit lighter than the Courage. This came out to be, when I weighed it on the scale, this came out to be one pound seven ounces. So just a little bit, or not even a pound and a half. And then the Courage backpack came in at one pound, 10 ounces. So just a little bit over a pound and a half for this bag. But really the weight difference between the two is pretty negligible. However, the companion backpack is just a little bit lighter, which for me is uh, the, the lighter, the better for me usually. So um, you can also see here that the pockets are slightly different. You can see that the, they both have nice horizontal zip pockets. The uh, one on the Courage is trimmed in leather, like the leather surrounds the zipper. And the Companion backpack has a zipper that is kind of covered by a trim flap here. 
And so you do have to kind of lift it up and maneuver around it to get into your interior contents of the pockets. Whereas this one, the zipper is exposed and just super easy to get to. So that's the difference in the two horizontal zip pockets on each bag. Obviously the, um, the Courage backpack has two grab handles as opposed to the companion backpack only having one, which is more of a traditional backpack. But I do really like the double kind of tote grab handles that it has on the top here of the Courage backpack. Then uh, the two exterior kind of pouch pockets on each bag are slightly different. Uh, the one on the Courage backpack is taller, again, taller and narrower, uh, whereas the companion backpack's pouch is wider and shorter. So it's just, it's based on your preference, kind of what you're looking for and what you're looking to hold in each of these pockets. Uh, you kind of have to decide which dimensions will work better for you, but both of them just have decently sized pockets. I would say the companion backpacks pouch is definitely more spacious generally than the one on the Courage. And additionally, the companion backpack has the little hidden kind of, I call it a bonus pocket. It's my favorite pocket on this bag. Bonus pocket that closes with a magnetic snap closure. And this is super easy for really fast grab and go items that you don't even have to get into your bag with. You can just, it's right here, ready for you to grab from. So I always like to keep my wipes in here. But this Courage backpack doesn't have that nice hidden pocket on the front here. So the Courage backpack only has two exterior zip compartments, whereas the Companion has three, two zip ones and one sort of slip. So that's the difference on the exterior front of each bag. And then each of the bags has very nicely sized bottle pockets. They're both I'd say they're about the same on each bag. They're both very, very wide and generously sized. And each bag has uh, bottle pockets that are lined, uh, insulated. So same on each side. Very nicely sized bottle pockets for both bags. You can easily accommodate pretty much any water bottle that you want it to. Then actually turning to the back of each bag, each bag has nicely padded backpack straps as well as nicely padded backs. And they're both pretty plain on the back. And each bag also has the nice hidden zip compartment that 12 Little likes to put in all of its bags. The companion backpacks zip compartment opens upward into the back of the bag. So FYI, you don't want to put a lot of valuable items in here because if you forget to zip it up, your stuff is gonna fall out when you're carrying it around. So this one opens upward and then the Courage backpack opens down into the bottom of the bag. So it opens down this way rather than up this way. So that's one thing to definitely point out in terms of difference between the two. Um, I actually happen to like the design of the Courage better. I like the fact that it opens downward into the bottom of the bag rather than up. I just think that's a more natural flow for a pocket like this. It makes more sense for it to open sideways rather than upward, uh, especially since when you're opening it upward, your stuff can fall out. So I, I definitely prefer this hidden zip compartment on the Courage over the Companion. I just, um, you know, I don't really know why they would want to design it to go upward like that, but they just did on this bag. So that's just something to point out in terms of a big difference between the two backpacks. Another difference is that the Companion has four metal feet at the bottom of the bag, and they're actually really nicely, they protrude nicely, and they, they create quite a bit of distance between the bottom of your bag and the floor, so it keeps your, your bag off the ground pretty nicely. Whereas the Courage backpack doesn't have any feet at the bottom. So the, the metal feet at the bottom of the bag was definitely something that I am missing in this Courage backpack. Kind of wish they would have put that on there. But not a huge deal either. So that's just another difference between the two bags. And that's just on the exterior. So we'll go ahead and get into these, uh, into the interior of both bags to give you an idea of how they each look. 
So I'll go ahead and open up the companion one first. Both bags have nice double zips. Companion, and this is the Courage. Both are very generously sized on the inside. Here is a glimpse of what the Courage looks like. And here is a glimpse of what the Companion looks like inside. The Companion has more sort of slip pockets on the interior than the Courage does. The Companion has two elastic slip pockets on the back wall and two slip pockets on the front wall. One is much wider than the other one. And then it has a nice horizontal zip pocket on the top of the front flap here, which is a nice size. And then the lining of the companion backpack is lined in the cute um, Chinese Zodiac, the 12 animals print that the, com that the company is based off of. So the lining is based, the lining uh, has the animal print all over. And then in the Courage, the Courage has a laptop compartment on the back rather than two elastic slip pockets. And then it, in the front, it has the elastic slip pockets, but it doesn't have like the two additional slip pockets that the Companion has. But it does have the same nice um, horizontal, horizontal zip pocket on the top of the front flap here, which is a nice size as well. And you can see obviously the lining is very different. It doesn't have the animal print lining. It just has 12 little kind of printed everywhere throughout the bag. And this is a light gray color whereas the companion backpack is more of a beige ivory color. So yes, that's the, that's the differences in the two bags on the inside. The main part is that the Courage backpack has a laptop sleeve and the companion backpack just has two elastic slip pockets in the back instead. And so I personally, I actually, I think I prefer the interior of the companion backpack because it has so many of those slip pockets, which I find really handy to organize all of my different things for the twins. Um, whereas the, the Courage backpack, I found, my, I found myself kind of missing those two slip pockets on the back wall. I kind of wish they would have kept those here um, in addition to the laptop pocket. I don't see myself using the laptop compartment all that often. Maybe I will later when the girls are grown up, but um, for now, I think I definitely prefer the companion backpack and the way that the pockets are configured in that bag. Um, but I can definitely see the laptop compartment being used uh, on a more long-term basis. So it really is just what you feel you need and um, what style you prefer for these two bags in making a, a decision. I, I like both, I think both have features that I love and features that I kind of, or things that I feel are missing. Um, most notably for the companion backpack, I'll just point out that I do wish that the, the bottom zip compartment opened into the bottom of the bag. This one rather. This zipper opened into the bottom of the bag like the Courage does rather than upward. And then I also kind of wish that generally the companion backpack wasn't so noisy, uh, but that's just the way the material is, this coated nylon quilted material. It just tends to be a little noisy and kind of creates a little bit of friction as you're moving it around. Whereas the Courage backpack is definitely a lot smoother because it's a more, I mean, this is kind of noisy too because of just the nature of the crinkled nylon, but it doesn't have a lot of squeaky noises like the companion tends to every now and then. Um, and then the, the Courage backpack definitely has those beautiful just double tote strap handles that make this, make this bag so easy to grab from the top. Really, really love these double handles. I wish the companion backpack had something like that. Um, and generally in terms of size, I think I like the size of the Companion better. Um, it's not so, so large. I mean, the Courage is definitely bigger than this one, or at least taller, and I think it just makes it feel a lot bigger and bulkier of a bag than the Companion does. I think the dimensions of the Companion are what I overall prefer for a backpack. Um, but again, it's just based on your individual needs and your individual preferences of what type of size bag you like better. And um, I definitely like the 
configuration of the top zip pocket on the Courage better just because this zipper is much easier to access than this one because this one has the flap that's covering the zipper. Um, and I definitely like the sort of mommy pocket, if you will, of the companion backpack much better. It's much more roomy than the one on the Courage. And then of course the companion backpack has the magnetic, the hidden magnetic uh, slip pocket on the front here. So that is a big time winner, adds a lot more points in my book. I think overall, I generally prefer the companion backpack over the Courage backpack. I find myself reaching for the companion backpack a lot more. It's a tad um, lighter than this one and just smaller and overall the dimensions and configuration of all the pockets on the companion are better for me, at least at this point in time in my life. Um, but the, uh, the Courage has some features that I really, really do like, especially these two tote handles as well as the exposed zipper. Um, and the laptop compartment I can see myself using later, like much later in time. So yeah, that's just, um, and as also just wanted to point out the, of course, the bottom hidden zipper opens in a way that's a lot more natural to me than the companion one does. So each bag definitely has features that I wish the other one had. Uh, I guess you can, you can never really just have the perfect bag. I think though, if they combined these two bags into one backpack, it would literally be the perfect diaper bag backpack. Um, I, I definitely wish that the Courage had the hidden magnetic pocket that this one has. I wish this one had like kind of similar dimensions as the Companion. I wish this one had the metal feet that the Companion has. Just things like that. Little wish list items that I wish were kind of combined onto both or com combined into one from both bags. So um, anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you have an idea of the major differences in these two bags, just in case you're kind of comparing around and shopping around for each one, which one might work better for you. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of how each one measures up against each other. Uh, this bag is $210 and this one is $195. And you can find both of them on their website, which is 12little.com. You can also find both of these bags at Nordstrom.com as well as Bye Bye Baby and Bed Bath and & Beyond. And I'm sure there's other retailers too. So there's plenty of places out there to shop for these things. Um, I happened to get, I think I got this one off of Nordstrom and I got this one off of Bed Bath & Beyond using a 20% off coupon. So that was a pretty good deal for this one. And this one I did get at Nordstrom at their I think it's the, the half yearly sale or anniversary sale. I'm not sure which, but it, I got a really good deal on the companion backpack through Nordstrom. So again, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and would like to continue seeing more product reviews. Um, and thank you so much for watching.